In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four weeks Gantt chart in PowerPoint. As you can see, I have added four weeks and I have put the week numbers here. And on the left side, you can add the, the project task details. So I've added six tasks. And then you can, depending on the, the duration of the task, you can select those cells and color it with different color combination. As you can see here, I have used uh, orange, blue, green, purple, red, etc and for each one in the bottom you can add the task details please share like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on youtube for powerpoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and i have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide and change the background to any dark color background as in this case we can see I have made a black background then go to insert and I'm going to insert the table here so click on the table and I'm going to make it a insert table and here number of columns I'm going to make it as 29 why I'm going to make 29 because I'm going to make it for four weeks that means 7 times 4 is 28 plus 1 for the description or the project task description and the number of rows i need is eight or depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease it and click ok so you can see here we have added a table with 29 columns and eight rows so let me just arrange this one all right till here because this place we need to write something so i'm just keeping it blank and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all the table, go to the table design, untick this banded rows and add a row. And then I'm going to make this as a white color, okay, or the lines. For that, go to the table design, how much thickness you need, select the thickness. And the pen color, I'm going to choose a white. And from the borders, I'm going to make it all borders. So if I click here, it looks something like this. But one more thing which I need to do is again, let me just select this one under the shading. I'm going to make it no fill. So I end up getting something like this. All right. Now, as I said, the first column should be a description and the width should be more. OK, for that, I'm going to select the, only the first column and then go to the layout and you can see here width is 0.44 only i'm just going to increase the width here maybe uh, 2.1 and then again i'm going to reduce it from here all right the next thing which i would like to do is i would like to uh, group the merge the columns or the cells for the weeks okay as you know that every week got four or uh, seven days so I'm going to select seven only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I'm going to merge cell and this will be my week one. Then again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, merge cell. Then one, sorry, control Z. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, merge cell and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So now this is the area where I'm going to type my weeks. So I want it to be a center align. So I'm going to center vertically and here also I'm going to make it center and go to the home. I need a white font. OK, and the font name I'm going to use is Open Sans and maybe I can make it 16 or 14 and then I'm going to make it as a first week. All right then second week this is my third week and this is my fourth week all right then here this particular column where i'm going to write the week numbers okay one to seven so i don't need this much uh, height for this one so i'm going to select only this particular row again go to the layout you can see here height is 0.66 I'm going to reduce it okay maybe 0 0.5 and if you like to increase the weight the height of this one you can just select this one and increase also if you want okay so now I'm going to 
again select this call or the, this particular row make sure this align center and then go to the home white font and open sans again and i'm going to make it maybe uh, 10 only so then here this is one two three four five six and seven so let me just copy this now all right so you can see here one two three four five six seven again second week one two three four five six seven and this week i can just make a light color also i can go to the uh, the layout okay and you can just adjust the height and width and you can go to the table design and you can put some shading i'm going to put the shading as white and for this also i'm going to put the shading as white but this is not visible so what i'm going to do is i'm going to right mouse click go to the format background and i'm going to select this particular uh, cell and increase the transparency to 90 percent you can see here and this also increase the transparency to 90 percent so you can see some shading is there again the next thing which we like to do is i would like to add the project okay so this is my project as you can see here when i'm tapping it's not visible because i have to again align it okay and give the right font and the color of the font so let me just highlight this particular area only again go to the layout i'm going to select the center vertically and center and go to the home white and then i'm going to make it open sans semi bold all right so this is my project one now i can just make it project two or i can just simply copy this one or let me just copy both control c till here so this is three four five and six all right so you can see here we have almost uh, completed our design again if you don't want the lines here for example i'm going to select this one this line on the left you don't need that one so what you need to do is you need to go to the uh, design and then you can see here i don't want a border i can uh, first of all if you want you can remove all the borders example so it looks like this but i need a border for this one right so i'm going to select only this part sorry let me just select this part only this cells only and here i need the border only on the left all right so you can see here top border i'm going to say left border so i got the border here also i'm going to make it left border right and here i am going to make it only the inside borders okay so i'm going selecting this one borders and i'm going to make it inside border all right left right bottom inside border so i end up getting like this again if you want you can make it for the top border also again this is optional if you want you can do it otherwise you can just leave it as it is and here also i need the bottom border right so you can see here our design is complete now now depending on the requirement you can just select and fill the the tasks so say this my project one task uh, will start uh, i mean we have to do it in the week one so i'm going to select this uh, week full week and then go to the either the table design you can fill any color of your choice like this all right and this will extend or this we have to do the third week three days also again i'm going to choose this one then my next task starts the last three days of the first week so i'm going to select this one but with different color combination and this should do at the third week also i'm going to select the same color here likewise you can just fill whatever information you need for example this is going to make it for the whole week of the second week and nothing for the third week fourth week again i'm going to start with say uh, five days only and this one i'm going to make it with dark blue color and here i can just maybe this is 
another three two days the same color i'm going to choose likewise you can just fill depending on the requirement maybe this is going to go both the weeks the last two weeks and i'm going to give maybe a purple and this one only one week which i'm going to give a kind of a red color here so you can see here this is a simple way you can make your gantt chart you can add the heading and in the bottom you can give more details for example i'm going to insert one rectangle with the same color which i've used here so first of all this color i'm going to choose shape outline make it no outline you can write the task details here all right task details here again white font reduce the font size all right you can and then i can select both of this one control g to group it and then i can just simply drag hold the control shift key drag and drop this is 3 and another 3 i'm going to add it here then i'm just going to change the color based on the color selection on the top all right so this will be green so you know exactly what task you're talking about and this is blue this is going to be purple and this one is the red that's it and add the title go to insert text and i'm going to say gant chart let me just make it white open sans and increase the size you can see here our gant chart is ready